Hey there, Steve Nixon here with FreeJazzLessons.com. Welcome to today's video. All right, so one of the most popular chord progressions you'll find in almost any style of music is a one chord going to a four chord, right? So we start with a one chord and then it goes up four scale degrees up to that four chord. All right, now check this out. Since this is used all over the place in music, right? And since it's so common and we hear it everywhere, it's always a good idea to know some different ways of creating variations on this chord progression, right? Otherwise, it can get a little bit boring if you're doing the same thing on the same song as all the other piano players out there, right? We want to sound interesting, right? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this cool little chord reharmonization technique that you can throw in in the middle of that one fourth to really bring some energy and excitement. And it's really easy to play as well, okay? So definitely will bring some cool color to that basic chord progression. All right, enough introduction. Let's learn how to play this technique right now, and I'll see you at the piano. Thanks. All right, welcome to the piano. So what we're going to do now is we're going to demonstrate what a basic 1-4 sounds like in context of the tune Fly Me to the Moon. And then right afterwards, we'll play the same chords again with that subtle little reharmonization there, right? So, you know, again, as a quick reminder, yes, you know, we're going to learn this in Fly Me to the Moon, but, you know, it's in so many different tunes, you know, this one to four. You can find it in the blues. Uh, you can find it in tunes like There Is No Greater Love, uh, Autumn Leaves, right? All the things you are, you know, just so many different tunes have it. All right, so check this out. When we get there, we're going to be going from this C major 7 into an F major 7. Okay, that's, that's the 1 to 4. Okay, so let's take a listen to it. I'll put our ears in context here. So we got... on the C major 7, then we get to this F major 7, right? So we just kind of hung out the whole time. And there's nothing wrong with it, you know, you can just let it breathe and let the time kind of just take care of itself or just let the natural, you know, laws of harmony just kind of pull you forward. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, again, we want something different, right? How are we going to separate ourselves from all the other people who play this particular tune, right? Well, what we're going to do now, instead of playing C major 7 for four beats like I had last time, right? What we're going to do is we're going to play C major 7 for half the measure. And then the other half of the measure, we're going to substitute in our two chords that are going to pull us real strong into the F major 7. So here's what we're doing, okay? Okay, if we're trying to get to F major 7, this is our target point, right? We're going to play its 2 5 right before that. So for an F major 7, a G minor is the 2 of the F major 7, right? And C7 is the 5. So those are the chords we're going to throw in right before to get to that F. Okay, so take a listen. that I went okay just that quick two five there and then we get into that right very subtle stuff but when you keep that listener you reward them by throwing in kind of little subtle unexpected things like that it's just fun to listen to right you know we have, uh, you know, we work hard to get people to listen to us play like, you know, reward them for for their, for their sitting down and listening, right? So just little subtle things you can do, and you can apply this to really any one for you see it, right? Just play it's two five of the four right before that, and voila, you got a cool little substitution to throw in. All right, so enjoy practicing this one. We have a ton of these reharmonization techniques I feature inside my premium jazz elite membership program if you want to learn more this is what i do for hours on video i show you in context of tunes just all kinds of cool ways of decorating stuff and getting that professional level sound all right so happy practicing thanks for watching and i'll see you at freejazzlessons.com